how do you go about figuring out who the hell is real and who to vote for? Well, first of all, I think if you agree with any politician or any political party, 100 percent, you aren't thinking very strongly yourself uh, because some of the political party positions don't logically make sense, right? If you have a particular viewpoint yourself, they don't always add up. Um, so what I try to do is, I, I, I say this on my radio show all the time, I try not to think about things in terms of Democrat, Republican, Independent, Libertarian, Green Party, whatever affiliation you might want to be a member of, whatever tribe you might associate with. I try to think of things in terms of sane and insane. Is this or is this not a sane policy? Is this or is this not an insane policy? And I try to ally myself on the side of sanity uh, more often than not. And so uh, that's the way that I kind of logically work through uh, whatever I end up arguing for or against. And in general, right now, it seems to me that the Democratic Party has got way more insane beliefs than the Republican Party does. And so I am voting Republican in uh, in most every election. Uh, doesn't mean that I'll always do it because I, I'm always uh, skeptical of any political party because the Democrats have gone insane, uh, Dan. I mean, I never would have thought that we'd be in a position when I was a kid growing up or when I was a teenager or a college kid uh, that Democrats would be saying, hey, if it hurts somebody's feelings, you shouldn't be able to say it. Uh, and if uh, if there's a story out there about the president's drug addict, hooker flavored uh, uh, meth head son, Hunter Biden, and all of the things that he may be doing that could be a threat to American interests, well, we'll just get the big tech companies to keep people from even being able to share that story. And oh, by the way, I mean, today, people who are six months old can get COVID shots that we know don't work uh, uh, really for kids. And 75% of kids have already had COVID. So I don't know. I mean, I just look at it from the perspective of, of a parent who tries to be sane. Um, I don't want my kids getting a shot for a virus they probably already had when one in five of them, if it's a Moderna vaccine, are going to get a bad fever and, uh, and and probably have more responses to the COVID shot than they did to uh, to COVID itself. So anyway, I, I just try to work through sanity. I thought it was insane when everybody was saying, hey, we can never play sports again because this COVID, sh COVID shot that doesn't have any any opportunity um, to, uh, to, to seriously injure young and healthy people by and large on a statistical basis. Like I was reading the other day in the New York times, his parents said, Hey, I pulled my kid out of swimming lessons because I was afraid of COVID. And my thought is, well, wait a minute. Have you looked at the data? Your kid is far more likely to drown than they are to die with COVID. So you actually made the worst choice you could have from a risk analysis perspective, by pulling your kid out of swim class to try to protect them from COVID, now they're more likely to drown, which was the bigger danger than COVID in the first place. So anyway, I try to be on the side of sanity over insanity, and it seems to me that the insane party right now is the Democrat Party.